So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speed Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click onto any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So 2012 Olympic gold medalist Luke Campbell will be challenging for his first world title. On the 23rd of September at the Forum Inglewood in Los Angeles. And he will be taking on WBA and Ring Magazine champion Jorge Linares. I know that name sounds familiar because he is becoming a familiar name now, Jorge Linares. He had them back-to-back -back fights with Anthony Crawler. He defeated Anthony Crawler twice by 12-round unanimous decision. The last fight, the rematch, he just totally put on a clinic against Anthony Crawler. Like, totally shut him out in that fight and dominated him. And he looked very classy in there, Jorge Linares. Very quick hands. You know what you're getting with Jorge Linares. Quick hands, good combinations. He's a very good ring general in there. Very good footwork. And I think it'll be a tough fight for Luke Campbell. And Luke Campbell, in my opinion, is a fighter who a lot of people had a lot of hope for. And I don't think he's achieved what people expected him to achieve so far. Like, people expected his path to be a lot clearer than what it was. Obviously, he had that loss to Yvonne Mendy that shocked a lot of people. And I think that shocked Luke Campbell himself. Because in that fight, I don't think he took Yvonne Mendy seriously. Going into that fight, he was undefeated. He recently had a win over Tommy Coyle, his um, British domestic rival. And he was coming off a bit of a high going into that Yvonne Mendy fight. And he was shocked a bit by Yvonne Mendy because Yvonne Mendy came in there to win. And he was very aggressive in that fight. Yvan Mendy managed to drop Luke Campbell early on in the fight. And he was very relentless in the fight. And that was the difference. And that's what got him the victory over Campbell. Don't get me wrong. Campbell came into the fight a little bit. But it just wasn't enough. And Yvan Mendy managed to squeak the split decision. And that, I think, shocked um, Luke Campbell. And definitely pushed him back in terms mentally of what he was going to do next in his career. And he had to kind of rebuild he came back, had good wins over guys like Gary Sykes and Derry Matthews and RGS Mendes. And in his last fight against Darles Perez on the undercard of Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko, that's what got him the shot at Jorge Linares. That was a world title eliminator. And he managed to stop Darles Perez in nine rounds. And a lot of people are writing him off against Jorge Linares. A lot of people are saying he's got no chance that Jorge Linares will just be too good for him. And that might be the case. Like, at the moment, I'm picking Jorge Linares to defeat Luke Campbell. But I would not be shocked in the slightest if Luke Campbell managed to get the victory. Because Luke Campbell does have the tools. Luke Campbell is a very skillful fighter. He's a tall, lightweight. He's got that reach advantage. And he does have skills in there. So if he managed to, to defeat um, Jorge Linares, I wouldn't really be shocked. Because he is a good fighter when he wants to be Luke Campbell. But it's all about if he can step up on the occasion. And the occasion is on September 23rd against Jorge Linares. And it will be a very tough fight. And at the moment, I'm going to pick Jorge Linares to defeat Luke Campbell. I'm going to go with him beating Luke Campbell on points. That's my early prediction for this fight. I might change my mind um, later down the line as we get closer to the fight. But I wouldn't be shocked if Luke Campbell got the victory. I really wouldn't because Luke Campbell is a guy who can do it if he really sets his mind to it. If he goes into that fight dedicated and thinks, you know what, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to be world champion because he does have the skills. And yeah, it is what it is. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It's Speedboxing.